hello guys welcome back in this video let's learn a tool called subdivide edge ring tool in the blender software so before getting into this tool we have to know what is a edge ring first so i've got a plane i've uh, created the plane and later i've subdivided it so that you could see there are a lot of faces in vertical and horizontal sides so I'm selecting that and I'm switching to the edit mode by pressing tab on the keyboard and I'm just selecting one of the edge here okay so this is uh, edge selection and uh, we have this tool called subdivide which is going to divide it that's uh, good uh, or if I select the face and then uh, choose the subdivide it's going to subdivide that that's good but we uh, right now the tool what I'm talking about is going to divide it in a different way. Uh, so firstly we have to identify uh, the loop. So if I hold alt and just click on any edge that is going to select a line which is connecting through all that faces and we call that as the loop. You can select one of the edge and go to the select menu and then we have edge loop selection which you can do the same thing so for the shortcut I'm holding alt and I'm just clicking there like that okay and then if I select uh, the horizontal line and then go to the loops and then select edge ring then it is going to select the lines which are parallel okay these lines are called rings okay so I'm holding control and alt and then clicking on that line is going to select me the ring there okay so this particular ring is going to be divided with this tool so I'm using the edge ring uh, subdivide tool and then you should able to see there is a division there so let me actually select this hit backspace and then we have the blending mode to linear backspace backspace okay just I just wanted everything to be default or sometimes you can close and open to get the default settings okay the first thing is if you could see the that particular face has been divided 10 times because the cut here okay uh, cuts are 10 so if I put it to 5 then you get 5 cuts 1 2 3 4 5 which is giving me 6 faces so I can slide it and increase that lines as per the requirement now interpolation is uh, nothing but how two points are connected with each other so from this point to that point how this line is uh, resulting is what interpolation is so we have uh, linear we have blend path and we have blend surface so blend path is uh, going to give you uh, as if these two points are a uh, two curves and then you are connecting that and based on these two points the in between uh, result is going to affect and uh, blend surface is like considering these two faces not the edges so the result is going to be slightly different and uh, we have this option called smooth we can start exploring that uh, when I'm sliding 2 is the maximum number I'm pressing 5 or uh, entering the value of 5 and then I got a bigger number there to uh, play with so can I take a hundred yeah obviously so one is the highest number what I've got here and uh, we have we got the profile factor uh, so profile factor is like uh, uh, we have a curve which is going to define how this profile is going to be and then we can start switching between these uh, types of profiles which we have here okay so you can generally play with that values now you might be thinking okay this is uh, this is looking cool uh, what if, if I try uh, uh, on a different model you know this model is plain actually so let me uh, delete this plane and then uh, create a UV sphere and then here also we got the uh, loops and rings so I'm going to press tab for edit mode press 2 for the edge mode control alt and then click this and then you got that line there 
then I'm going to choose subdivide edge ring tool and then you got this all values there so let me um, switch everything to default something like that and you should see that this is uh, divided like that and uh, I'm increasing the smoothness uh, its highest is 2 so now I'll switch to uh, blend path okay and you should able to see that curvature I'll put it a 1 actually and then I choose blend surface you see that slight uh, roundness is seen here and then for linear it's perfectly straight so that curvature difference is seen between uh, blend path and blend surface so you can uh, blend surface is uh, going to be much uh, better result in most of the cases you can explore that okay and um, let me uh, try the profile and then here uh, the profile is again controlling this shape because uh, here the shape is pulling outside okay I should see that so it's it's generally pulling this and uh, it is only because um, this line came outside uh, to the uh, line there and it's affecting the overall uh, loop so yeah you can play with the values and keep exploring this on different types of models and see the possibilities of what can be done with uh, edge ring tool uh, this tool is available in other modeling software 3d softwares also